Hey everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life here for a Spiegel Mom Scraps Trendy Tuesday. This layout was very challenging for some reason. There wasn't actually a whole lot to it, but yet I really struggled. So I have these two photos, exact same photo, one's a 4x6 and one is a 4x4. Four four. I had already done my layering as this is actually a re-scrap, which you would have just seen the old um, layout right before um, I started talking here. And I'm just kind of showing you a few things I'm kind of thinking about doing. Uh, really, the <laughs> I don't know, I like I said, I struggled. I took that away, came back, did some stitching, put my photos back. I like where my photos are located but other than that I am stuck I don't know what to do I posted this um, on uh, one of my little Facebook chats that I do and Megan who is also a sparkler so crafty Maggie was giving me some awesome suggestions and it it really helps spark like how to finish my layout so her suggestion was that corner top corner with all that white space there was missing something and I agree it was definitely missing something and so I work on my title first because I know it won down at the bottom but because of her suggestion I was able to finish uh, my layout with some hidden journaling so if you are stuck in a situation where you need some help um, always just message a friend um, I have a really fun group chat that I talk to a few different people and so you can get multiple um, recommendations on how to finish layouts which is always helpful so you're just gonna kind of see me play back and forth I'm working on a few things trying to decide what I want to do as for my products for Spiegel Mom scraps the first thing I did is that you can't see it at the moment and I'm redoing it again here um, I painted the number 14 with some black licorice which is the dazzlers from shimmers which you can find in the shop I, I really enjoy using the black to help highlight things and then I'm going to use uh, one of the tags so you'll see that coming up in a minute here you can see I finally have found a solution on what to do here I'm adding this piece of Dear Lizzie it's from an older collection and I just used it to help kind of ground the layout and bring a little pop of color besides black and teal because as you can see this is a very black and teal dominated layout there's red in the photo but I'm kind of just ignoring that because I don't want it to um, I don't need to bring out the red in other areas so you'll see that it just kind of gets ignored I also need to apologize because this is kind of cut off I have moved my scrap area to where I'm scrapping to record um, so I can sit down as many of you know if you've been following my my personal channel I am about um, eight and a half weeks away from my little one being due and I've been put on medical uh, leave from work and I'm really supposed to be taking it easy so I'm normally a standing scrapper but I am becoming a sitting scrapper for the time being and I just haven't quite figured out my camera angles so that my whole layout is in the the picture here so I do apologize that there's a few things cut off I kind of realize what's going on and I will push this up and you'll see it in just a minute here and I do the same so I am hoping that within the next video it'll it'll all come together and and you'll be able to see everything I'm also going to use some of these awesome eye cork you hearts. So these are, are new. Uh, Jody released them in our big January release. And I love them. They are so fun. There's a few that are just the little tiny hearts. And I'm going to add those. Part of um, another challenge that I'm taking on within this layout is to use the paper issues challenge where it's called working title. And what they suggest is that you use um, the word love or heart or use an actual heart within your layout, so within your title. And that's what I did. So this is talking about his first um, Valentine's Day. And so I wrote first 14th and added those little hearts to be included within my title. You can see my little tag there. I did my journaling. As this is a redo, I'm re-scrapping this layout. I literally just took the journaling I had from the old layout and just rewrote it. And I'm going to add, you'll see here, just a two little, 
little sequins from the Purple Rain collection sequence pack. And I'm just going to do that in front of the zeros. And that's going to wrap up my layout. Thanks, everyone. For